assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to be start another uh, new lecture and this is the very important uh, lecture for all of us previously we have discussed about the fitab inspection during fitab inspection what are the things we have to check so today we will discuss about the during visual inspection what are the things we have to check so after fitab we have to do the visual inspection after welding so during visual inspection what are the things we have to check so I hope you will uh, learn something from this uh, lecture. I will request to all of you, please watch this video from start to end, then you are able to understand the topic. And if you think this lecture is useful for you, please share with your friends, like and comment uh, your valuable feedback, and subscribe to my channel to, to get the all updated lecture. Okay, let's start today lecture. <coughs> so this lecture also related to the weld piping and welding that's why i keep in the same uh, 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 same topic is uh, same subject there you know i have already one uh, lecture series about the piping and welding so you can uh, visit my youtube channel and you can get the more lecture from my youtube channel also okay let's start so basic piping and welding the visual inspection the during visual inspection what are the things we have to check we see one by one okay during visual inspection also we have to check the latest approved drawing are available for visual inspection so during visual inspection also we have to check that this drawing is uh, latest or not so if is this latest drawing we can proceed for the visual inspection <coughs> then we have to check the correct material are used or not so during visual or during feta already we confirm after that also during visual we will cross check uh, this material is correctly used or not then iso drawing whatever mention this th same material used or not okay then we have to check the after welding so before welding we checked already dimension and then after welding we have to check the dimension again because uh, due to welding this dimension something can be changed or this one can be misaligned or distortion is there so these are the things we have to check after visual inspection also that the reason we have to check the visual inspection also the dimension again okay then we have to check the welding any distortion happened or not so during welding during uh, welding you know the due to the heat input or uh, or uncontrolled uh, welding the, there can be the distortion so during visual inspection we have to ensure there is any distortion happened or not and if it is accepted by standard or not if there is the there can be the some distortion but this distortion is uh, as per standard this is the accepted or not so that the things we have to check also during visual inspection <coughs> then oil control box so we know uh, during welding feet up stage visual and dt every stage there have the one control box welding control box this welding control box properly feel or not i will show you the another uh, if i get the chance then i'll show the welding control box also the how to fill up and what like the welding control box so this welding control box properly filled or not we have to check then uh, correct wps are used or not so when we see the we, we go for the visual inspection we can see the control box there have the writing the uh, wps number then welder number then other information is there so this wps actually approved and correct wps or not for this specific material that the things we have to check also then check the material is free from damage and contamination same things we have to check again this material any damage and contamination is there or not that the things we have to check then weld joint check visually and defect have or not so now we have to check the welding joint this welding joint have there is any uh, visible defect or not so oh, oh, about the welding defect uh, i have uh, few lectures you can uh, uh, visit my youtube channel in play playlist about the welding have the one uh, folder there you can find the about the welding defects so you can uh, go there and you can uh, see what are the defects is there and next the next things we have to check the weld joint selected for ndt or not so this joint is selected for ndt or not if selected for ndt take note in comments so if same joint what are the joint we go for the visual inspection if same joint we selected for the ndt we have to write the comments or we have to take note uh, this joint is selected for ndt then after that we have to check the ndt report what is the status for this joint 
okay then next is the check whether if any dcm or revision drawing so we know there is the so many uh, design change memo or revision drawing can become so we have to check during visual inspection this uh, whatever we do the inspection this is the latest drawing or any dcm or latest dcm or not then check qualified welder or welding or not so which whoever is welding this joint welding we have to check this welder qualification also this welder is actually qualified or not then we have to check the approved welder list so how you confirm this welder is uh, qualified so we have to check the our approved welder list in this list this welder id or welder name is available or not this welder uh, information is recorded or not then we can understand this welder is qualified or non-qualified okay that's all in this lecture now i will share with you uh, one excel check sheet how we need to make the excel check sheet then uh, how we can maintain this uh, on site okay then uh, this is the one excel check sheet the daily surveillance inspection uh, check sheet uh, actually this is for piping i make so then visual inspection so this is the visual inspection check sheet so same is the date of surveillance inspection then uh, loca location of surveillance inspection if you already uh, watch my feet up inspection video lecture then this is will be easy for you so after also i uh, explain to you one more time then rfi number under under which uh, request or request for inspection you are come for inspection that rfi number you write here then surveillance uh, by name your name designation your superior name your superior designation inspection tools during inspection what are the tools you have used you can write here then the project number block number is pool number wps so what are the wps use here and section so here also you can add if you want then world number which world is welded here but you no need to mention the world number here because in rfi there is the everything wps number world number everything is mentioned so as per rfi or request from you just uh, verify on site what are the information is given to the rfi and what is the information is on site so if okay then uh, that's enough okay then uh, description is here so 1 to 12 already i explained to you so just you the check and here you keep the tick tick then uh, you will able to understand how many is okay how many is no then uh, if everything is okay then you can uh, inspect uh, you can sign the inspection report then you can release for next step so i hope you understand so if you have any question regarding this topic you can ask me in comment section i will try to reply your uh, comments and i will request to you please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get update all lectures so see you soon in my new lectures thanks to all uh, watching for this uh, lecture allah hafiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh